So let's talk about diets and why I personally think they don't work. Now, the reason that I say I don't think diets work is because you end up on a little bit of a diet cycle. So don't get me wrong. In the first instance, you'll go on a diet, you'll probably gr drastically reduce your calorie intake. So you will eventually lose weight, okay? But the problem is a lot of people end up going back to their eating habits and their lifestyle habits from before. They end up putting that weight back on. They end up going on another diet. Now, if I told you that the average female in her lifetime goes on a diet for 31 years, 31 years they are on a diet. Now, the average diet in the UK generally lasts about five and a half weeks. Uh, most people dieting, I'm sure you'll understand this, post Christmas, but actually that's the one that people don't seem to stick to the longest. So they manage about a couple of weeks and I think that's because you go full throttle into exercise and also into dieting as well. And the body goes, whoa, hang on, I've just been having a gluttonous month. So I think that's why the January ones really are quite short lived. But the reason that diets don't work, let's talk about the diet cycle. So you decide you're not happy with your body and you want to lose some weight. So you drastically reduce your calorie intake, okay? So you've drastically reduced that calorie intake. So you go into this stage called the famine, okay? Your body starts to slow down because it doesn't know when it's gonna get the right amount of calories for its body. So your metabolic rate lowers. The amount of calories that you have lowers. You start to lose mass from your muscles as well as the fat, okay? So your overall body mass is reduced. Then you're getting happy with where you are, so you start to revert back to your eating habits again. So you're increasing your calories. So we go into the feast phase, but your metabolic rate is still low because it's been lowered from the famine phase. Okay, so you start to store fats now, okay, on your body. So you start to put all of that weight back on. So you've done the famine, you've lost the weight, you feel good, you start to eat normally again, and then you start to put the weight back on, which means you come all the way back to the top, and it means that you start all over again. So what do I suggest? I suggest healthy choices. Healthy choices is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. And this is what I promote with everybody that I work with. I want it to be sustainable. I want you to be able to make those choices when you go out to eat, when you go to the supermarket, when somebody offers you a slice of cake if you have a coffee morning. I want you to be able to make healthy choices. So you choose water over pop. You choose to have a herbal tea over a full fat latte with chai and gosh knows what other syrups you can get in these coffee shops nowadays. You choose to have sweet potato over white potato and just making these small changes are sustainable. They are things that you can follow through. You don't feel as though you are necessarily missing out because you have chosen to make that choice. You're not stripping out a whole food group from your diet and your body starts to crave it. So make sure you have treats. I follow the 80-20 rule, which means that I am pretty good 80% of the time, but I'm naughty for 20% of the time. Yes, I do drink wine. Yes, I do have the occasional bit of chocolate, but I have chosen to eat good quality dark chocolate over mass produced other chocolate, okay? So again, even though I'm being naughty, I'm having a healthier choice. I'm making a healthier option when I make those choices. So it's about healthy choices. If you want my advice, don't diet, make choices, make a lifetime change, make a lifestyle change, something you can stick to. Your body will thank you for it. And it's not really scientific. If you move more, you eat better, your body and your physique will be what it wants to be. It will be energized, it will look good, it will feel good, and you'll have energy and pizzazz for life. So that's why I feel diets don't work.